Hey everyone, it's Miss Mac, and as the summer draws to a close, we wanted to share with you some ideas for how to end your summer in a safe and really fun way. This spring has been so crazy, and it's important that you take some time before school starts up again to relax and hopefully see some other important people in your life in a safe and socially distant way. So you could go for a run or a walk together. Remember that it's important to still wear masks when you're encountering people in less than six feet of space. You could also go for a hike. So find a nearby trail. There are actually lots of trails around Alexandria um, that you can find and just be outside together and enjoy some nature in a socially distant way. You could watch a movie together and even make your own outdoor movie theater um, by using a projector screen or just having a computer outside. Um, Or if you're home and in different places, you can use netflixparty.com in order to watch the same movie as at the same time with your friends and be able to use the chat function to hang out together. If you're able and uh, your parents or guardians are able to bring you there, you could head to a nearby body of water to sail, kayak, or canoe, or just walk around the water for some fun. There are actually a few lakes and parks nearby, like there's a lake in Burke or there's the Potomac River. So you can be near a body of water and enjoy nature that way. You could also have a fire and cook some s'mores in someone's backyard um, or at an outdoor place nearby, like some place that has a barbecue area. Make sure, of course, that you're still practicing social distancing and staying six feet away from other people. You could also do some gardening with your family members or with your friends. This doesn't have to be anything really challenging. You could just go outside and do some weeding and clean up the outdoor space that's near you. Or if you're able to plant some flowers or trees, that would be awesome too. But something where you're interacting with the land and taking care of the green space that's around you. You could also take some photos of things that you see in your area. So since we, many of us have camera phones um, or iPhones that have really good cameras, you could walk around your neighborhood and just practice taking some cool artsy photos and then making a collage with the photos that you take. You could also go for a bike ride if you have a bike or someone in your family does, you can use that to go around your neighborhood or there are lots of places in our area that have you, that you're you're able to rent bikes for really inexpensively so that you can go for a bike ride for a couple of hours. You could also spend some time at a local park. All of our elementary schools have parks that are near them. So if you live near an elementary school, you can go hang out in the park that's there. There are also a lot of city parks like Fort Ward or Four Mile Run where you can hang out outside with some friends, maybe bring a picnic or a soccer ball and just spend some time outside in a socially distant way. You could also play a sport. So Similarly to going to play in a park, take some sort of sporting equipment with you and stay apart from people, but be able to play a sport outside. This is my personal favorite as a teacher, read a book. 
So libraries are open now and you can go get books at a curbside pickup. Pick you can also use get ebooks online if you have an internet connection. And it's really important that you continue to read something that you're interested in while we are away from school because reading is so important for every single one of your classes. And also it can be fun if you get to choose your own books. You can also try cooking or baking, find some new recipes online, or ask your parents how they make your favorite dishes and learn how to do that yourself so that you are learning the traditions of your family um, and getting to spend some quality time with your parents or other family members who, are, who make food at home. You can also volunteer in our community. There are lots of different ways that you can get involved with volunteering. If you go to Volunteer Alexandria, there are specific volunteer programs for students. So go check that out and maybe consider giving back to our community in a safe and socially distant way. We really hope that you have a great rest of your summer and that you have a lot of fun and get to have some relaxing times before the school year starts. I just want to give a special shout out to Ruth Cristino who prepared this presentation and all of the ideas that came with it. Thanks for watching.